Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, it became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Look out for my next video coming out Wednesday night. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. And in the last video, I said that the NASDAQ was still bearish on the weekly and the daily until we got a, a daily close at least over 15,470. But ideally, once we get the close over 15,700 on the daily, we can be more confident in being bullish. As you saw, we had the rejection and we sold off. So on the weekly chart as well, you can see we came right up into the 70% retracement got rejected and now we're just trending back down so no reason to look for longs yet but still if you're looking for shorts next TP we're gonna be down at 14,900 just because there's some support there to the left then the question is do we take out the lows at some point by the end of October or do we cycle back up and take out the highs we made at 15,480 Obviously, time will tell. But if you did get in the short, um, I didn't. I actually didn't get in any trade or any short. But last video, I said that if you were wanting to short, it'd be at that fifteen thousand three seventy level that we closed at. Stop would be up at the fifteen thousand seven hundred, and then first target is going to be support to the left uh, down here at about uh, four thousand nine hundred. So this is the trade I was talking about in the last video. It's about a, a 1.3 R and we're in you'd be in good profits now, but again I want more confirmation first Yes, it was still too weak for my liking So we're gonna see if we find support here and come back up If we did get above and closed above the 14,480 area on a daily basis then I would be more confident in longs But like I said if we zoom out to the weekly no reason to be too excited yet just because Clearly you can see there's a high, there's a low, a lower high, and a lower low, traded up into resistance again and got rejected. So on a weekly basis, we need to close above 15,800 to be confident that we are gonna go higher. Taking a look at the four hour chart, we can't be too excited in either direction. Obviously before the sell off, it looks very bullish because we're making higher swing lows, higher swing lows, higher swing lows, higher swing highs. Then we broke below. And now the question is, are we going to hold 14,940? If we find support at uh, 14,940, we don't we don't take out those lows, and we get and close above 15,380, then we can keep looking for longs on a shorter time frame, like the four hour time frame. But of course, if we see the next week that uh, there's a four hour candle closing below that 14,940 area, then in my opinion, that's more confirmation that there's more downside coming. And then I could look for a retracement to get in a short and just put the stops above a recent four hour swing high and then target the next liquidity on the downside. So that's all I'm gonna cover on the NASDAQ. We're gonna head over to ES now on the four hour. ES on the four hour, same idea. We're coming down to this support here at 43.20. So we've been making higher lows, higher highs, just like NASDAQ. So I'm gonna stick with the same thing here. If we don't get a four hour close below that 4,300 area, then I'd be more confident that we could still be going higher. But like the NASDAQ, if you zoom out to the daily chart, you can see that we just, we're just we just doing a fib retracement essentially at the moment of uh, from, the, from the highs. So if you just draw a fib from the recent highs down to the lows that were made, we just retraced up into the 50%. We didn't even get to the 618. So realistically, that's a perfect area to short because we're bearish on the daily, bearish on the weekly. It just retraced, so you would just short and then target new lows again. So on the daily, nothing nothing bullish in my opinion. If you go over to the weekly, weekly just like on the NASDAQ, but even weaker, we have it making lower highs and lower lows on the weekly. And we just retraced up, in, we didn't even get all the way up into the resistance to the left and we already rejected. So from a weekly perspective, it looks like we're gonna retest 42.40 but I want to see more confirmation down on the four hour chart. All right, here's something concerning. We have the VIX. I said in the last video, typically when the VIX gets above the 200 day moving average, when it closes back below, it tests the 50 day. And we found support at the 50 day and closed back above the 200 again. That's extremely bearish sign because again, when the VIX goes up, the market goes down. So this means to me that the, vault, the VIX is, is strong. And when the VIX is strong, 
there's more continuation for upside of the VIX, which is more continuation for the downside for ES and NASDAQ. So this makes me more confident in shorts, less confident in longs. If we were still below the 200 day, or even if we close below the 50 day, then I'd be a lot more confident in longs. But looking at market structure on the daily and the weekly, combined with the VIX, uh, definitely have a huge short bias on the NASDAQ and ES. So not a lot more to say on the VIX. Let's just take a look at the dollar for one last thing here. I said in the last video we wanted to see the dollar sweep the liquidity at 105.7. We did that, so that's technically bearish now on the dollar, and we're just trading up into resistance to the left. If we're bullish on the market, we want to see the dollar take out these lows again for a high, a lower low, and then a lower high, and another lower low, because that would be confirmation, even more confirmation for the dollar making its way back down. And again, dollar goes down, market typically goes up, so that would be bullish for the market. So that's one clue that could be saying, hey, maybe we did bottom for ES and NASDAQ because there's a bearish market structure now on the dollar. However, just like the others, you zoom out to the weekly and you say, all right, there's no stopping this thing realistically. We're just going straight up. Still in a bullish market structure. My eventual target for the dollar is at 109 into this fair value gap on the weekly. And again, if we get there, then that implies that ES and NASDAQ does sweep the lows we already made. And that's my eventual target for NASDAQ. So. In the beginning, my eventual target was uh, 14,400. Basically, just coming down to see where my mouse is right here. There's a fair value gap. There's also support here. So this area, 14,400, perfect area for a bottom. So I think in the end of October, we could sweep the low one more time and then look for longs there when we get bullish confirmation on lower time frames. ES, uh, what that could look like for ES is basically just sweeping this low, getting down to about 4,200. Or double bottoming because now if you just take a look Nasdaq sold off a lot more than ES did like the banks are stronger than tech stocks so we can have a rotation now where ES holds up more Nasdaq falls more and if that's the case then ES could double bottom or Nasdaq could just dip below its bottom and getting down to that 14,400 area that's basically all what I'm looking at and that's what I believe is most likely to happen at some point at the end of October and then get the relief rally into the end of the year from end of October 14,400 on NASDAQ all the way up to 16,500 by the end of the year on NASDAQ and ES getting above that 4,700 area by the end of the year. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Look out for my next video coming out Wednesday night and I'll see you in the next video.